Hello, fine friend. How are you? I want to talk to you for a moment about the concept of anchor points. This has everything to do with your improvisation within your telling of a story or telling of the various details of a longer thread, okay? You don't have to memorize what you want to say. That's important. Don't necessarily memorize the thing. Why? Because chaos might find its way in. It always does. It's like trying to hold water or sand in your hand. It always finds the little nooks and crannies and it flows through. Therefore, you don't want to have a memorized script that can throw you off. That's why we use anchor points. You have some kind of thread. You want to talk about a few different things and you have your flow planned. This is where you have the concept of an anchor point for each part of a story and you can write that down on a piece of paper and you can tape it. You see, I could tape it right here on my screen and you wouldn't know because you don't see anything other than what I show you in my camera universe. So, I write a piece of paper and on that piece of paper I have a label for a point. This is not a label that says the things that people need. It says the things that you know you need to have on a piece of paper to remind yourself of what you're going to talk about. And that is some kind of key like the thing about the dog or hero worship gray shirt. And then you say, oh right, that's the thing. And it's your little shortcut that you write down and you put it below the other one and it's in big enough font so that you can read it. So you are talking along and you see your anchor point and you look down and then you go back to talking about the thing and you know what that story is. That story is a story that you've practiced. Okay, so that little um, component of your story has some subcomponents within that you've practiced and you have the flow, but you don't need to remember what comes next because what comes next is the next anchor point. And that next anchor point is written below that one in nice bold letters and it's your shortcut that gives you the next cue and the next clear understanding of how to segue to that. So those anchor points allow you to improvise what you are talking about and in so doing you establish a flow that nobody can stop. So what am I talking about when I talk about chaos finding its way in? Suddenly your kid comes into the room. Suddenly something falls or a light goes shorts or the phone rings or some car alarm goes off outside and it won't jostle your nerves and it won't cause you to wonder what comes next because you have your anchor points to plan the whole thing out. Am I getting through to you? Does that become clear? This is how you improvise a nice flow. Paul Gordon, Fine Art of Face Dancing. Go get him.